Hey everyone, very exciting times for the real estate industry. Now the Wally District area for over a decade is to be the downtown of Surrey. It houses the beautiful SFU, state of the art Surrey campus. Uh, it's got city hall buzzing with activities. And of course it is going to be housing the brand new UBC campus in the area of Wally as well. And uh, developers and the city of Surrey have been working together for a few years now to revitalize the look of the area. And one name that has been synonymous uh, for the projects happening in Wally is that of Mr. Charn Sethi. He is the president of Thien Share Group of Companies. And there is another project now uh, that is going to the market. His dream project is called the Flamingo Square. Um, of course, under his leadership, he spearheaded projects such as Quattro, Balance and Venue. I can't wait to find out about this exciting project project from him and uh, he's such a visionary with the work that he's done and this one is going to be at another level so let's welcome him into the program. Hello Mr. Sethi, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you, thank you so much. Yes, thanks for taking the time with us. So tell me a little bit about yourself and uh, your journey in real estate. It's been a, um, in some respect, a long journey but it's been a very enjoyable journey. I bet. So I've been in the business for about 35 years, real estate. Uh, the 22 selling and then after it became a developer and 16 years of that I've been developing so we came from being a single family developer to townhouses then six four stories and six stories and here we are today doing a uh, 35 story tower uh, so it's been an incredible journey but a very very exciting journey throughout I bet with the success that you've had in real estate well, I think, you know what, uh, having the opportunity to take a clean slate, which is what Wally is, what it was, and being able to actually uh, form a community as a whole, not just a building. Unfortunately, in a lot of the bigger city in the world, that's what's lacking. Uh, it's lacking because what happens is there's no community engagement. So everybody kind of come home, go into the parkade and go into the apartments. As, as human beings, we're social animals. So we need to talk to each other, right? Not texting only, but talk. <laughs> right, right, that's such an excellent right. point. I love the name of your company, uh, Thien Share Group of Companies. Tell me a little bit about the work the company does. Name comes from uh, myself and my two boys. We are Sikh religion, so my middle name is Singh, which means share, lion. And from there, it was formulated that the company. So, yeah, that's clever. Uh, like well, it, it's it's simple. It's um, well, it's it's, real it's estate, yeah, it, yeah. Yeah, it says something about who we are, what we are. My goal is to provide housing at a at a price which people can afford. So, hence, that's why when we formulate any building, it's always geared around who's going to be our buyers, who's going to who we want to move in. So we'd never gear any building to just one group of buyers or say young people, old people. No, it always has to be a complete community as far as who's going to move in. So that's why we designed so many units in different styles, different looks inside. I call it social engineering because I think, you know, if you think about all of those factors, it actually becomes a community automatically. Flamingo Square is such a unique concept. Uh, you know, you've got such an incredible vision with Flamingo. It's going to be in the heart of the Wally area. Um, tell me a little bit about it in detail. So the Flamingo project is saw phase one, Flamingo one, which is the tower. Mm -hmm. Flamingo Square is the building, which is the uh, commercial, uh, commercial and office building. These are strata title uh, units, so uh, entrepreneurs, business people can come and buy their office. There's very little um, strata offices which are available in the city center. And that's why we thought, you know, wouldn't it be great to actually have small business mo moving into it. So our office building is geared up for that. On the ground floor, what we're going to be looking for is somebody with a, um, a pharmacy, a, a walk-in clinic, a dentist, and physiotherapist, those sort of things. So kind of walk-in upstairs. We've already got three doctors already. And we can be looking at talking to a physiotherapist as well right now. So there's a variety of medical, but I'm sure there's going to be such a variety of people moving into it. They're going to be good. Ground floor is all commercial. It's right wrapping right around the whole block. And that is to gear up to serve the needs of people who are working here and living here. 
It's accessibility, accessibility to everyday's needs. You know, th that's why we formulated the, um, uh, the 15 minute city, because you should be able to walk to pretty much everything you need within 15 minutes. So it, yeah. So within 15 minutes walk, walk distance or bike distance. So uh, walking from here to city center, uh, city hall, I think is about 15, 20 minutes. Um, and uh, the SkyTrain station, which is just down, down the street, which is about another five, seven minutes. So it's, it's a very, very convenient, walkable uh, community. And the one aspect, lessening the greenhouse gas emissions, you're helping the environment in such an enormous way if everything is within 15 minutes of walking. Yes, you're right. There's a big emphasis in our building, especially. Uh, every parking stall is EV ready. So if somebody wants to, or somebody has a car, they want to put a, a charger in, they can put that charger in it. We'll um, uh, actually start providing chargers as people want them as well. Having the ability to walk to everything, it does many things. It does, you know, it improves your health. It reduces the carbon footprint, okay? When you're walking in a neighborhood, you interact with more people, right? So rather than kind of um, uh, being in the building going down the park here, then drive away. You're actually walking to somewhere. You will interact with people, so people will get to know each other. So it also forms a very a safe environment. They're all looking out for each other. It's like a village. Here, we just have a phenomenal opportunity because we just bought so much land and now we can formulate a whole city within a city itself. That's so fantastic. With that said, um, clearly this is so awesome and so uh, fantastic on so many levels. What has been the response of the public? It's been phenomenal. I think we had about 18,500 people registered on, on our database right now. And in terms of sales of units, what's that looking like? Um, I have a feeling we're going to sell out in probably within right. one or two days. We have a good reputation of providing a really good product. Um, we, when, we, when you get a key from, uh, for your apartments, uh, when you move in, you, are, you know that you are satisfied with that apartment. You're not going to have trades coming in time after time to fix this, fix that, deficiencies. We, we, we just don't tolerate that. We want to make sure that when you bring your belongings into the apartment, live. Yeah, if something happens, call us, we'll be there. But we take a lot of pride in the absolute quality um, of when you move into it. My last building was about, I think we sold about 40% uh, to previous clients. So uh, could be investors, could be people who recommend other people, uh, their sons and daughters, uh, parents buying for their kids. So it's been uh, 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 getting 40% to the repeat client is unheard of in this industry, unheard of. And we managed to do that. And this building, I mean, it, I, I'm getting personal calls from realtors, investors, people who want to move to the area, personally myself, because I, I make myself known out there. I'm not a clean chair, behind, I'm not a guy hiding behind the clean chair. I am the clean chair. I am in front. It's fantastic. Uh, you know, that being that reliable, uh, trustworthy source when it comes to development is so wonderful for the clients to feel that way. Well, thank you so much for taking time to speak with us. And uh, yeah, when we look forward to lots of activity in the area. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> These units are going to provide work and play balance in your life. It's going to be amazing to be in these units. It's a thriving, vibrant community. And if you want to get your hands on the unit, it's uh, definitely flamingoliving.ca. That's the website you want to go to. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Ash Sharma.